What's up, YouTube? Monty here. Today, we're going to be playing a deck that we saw yesterday. I took it. I made it my own. It's Echo Caitlin. This is what I came up with. Pretty standard Echo build, except we made room for some Flash Bomb Peddlers. We put the Caitlin in, of course. And then I went with a spicy one of Desert Duel over one of the Mystic Shots here. And we're down to only one Quicksand, one Red Negation. Still on three Voice of the Risen. And we added one formula to this build as well. Three Seek Keepers is the other big standout. The reason we're on three, seek three Secret Keepers is because we're also on the Three Voice of the Risen. These cards work very well together. If you didn't know, like I didn't when I first saw these cards, I was also curious. The Secret Keeper activates the Voice of the Risen. You don't actually have to play the level 2 champion. You just have to have it in your deck. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, and then I supplemented our draw a little bit with the formula, and then the other new card from the most recent set is this Augmented Clockwing here. Pretty good card. I figure it'll work pretty well, gives us a little bit of draw power, which this deck often needs. So let's actually go ahead and fling out our Caitlyn, because why not? Right? Show her off a little bit. So let's take this deck right into the gauntlet and see how it goes. I have zero games on the deck so far. Game one, we're up against Jarvan, Garen, Trout Lord. So this is probably just elites. I would imagine they're playing here to help. We might actually want to keep the Mystic Shot, but we're going to toss the other two. Because we cut down to two Mystic Shots, but I have a turn one predict. So I think I'm okay keeping the Mystic Shot. I want to be able to deal with their two drop. This is a pretty good hand. We'll see what we can do with turn one. We're just looking for more predicts. This hand got really good all of a sudden. Scrying Sands with Caitlyn is nuts. If we can find a one mana predict here, it'd be great. Um, Do I want the Caitlyn? I think this is going to be a skip. Because we don't really want any of these cards at this point. The Peacemaker is a consideration. Because that could be our turn four play. We have token on board though, so we really want to be able to predict into this echo if at all possible. I think this time it might be the augmented clock link, and we just accept that we're playing for a later echo, and that's okay. But that seems kind of wrong. Because they're going to end the game a lot faster than we are, and they have champion strength. So maybe we take a pass, or maybe we take the voice of the Risen. It's the skip. We really need the predicts, I think. Scrying Sense, unfortunately, doesn't do anything against the 3-2, or the 0-3. We can trade into it with the next one. <clears throat> so this is pretty good at this point I'll pick up another mystic shot it's a little bit sad I'm okay to make this trade Because I picked up this Mystic Shot, I forked them. I can pass here. They always have to play a unit to activate this, and then they have to play the Dark and Spear on top of it if they want to kill my Echo. <clears throat> and that gives me the opportunity to drop the Caitlyn, as well as use the Scrying Sands. Or just Scrying Sands time trick into something. This is unfortunate. We are just going to Scrying Sands here. Doesn't matter because we're getting a time trick. So 
So off this time trick, what are we looking to hit? That's the real question here. Secret Keeper is not worth anything at this point. Voice of the Risen is good. More predicts are good. Yeah, this is a good pickup. We need this. Yikes. That's really scary, actually. I don't like that. So I don't want to grief. I think it's just pass, take nine. Play flash bomb, peddler, voice, uh, Caitlyn. Then next turn, play voice of the risen on open. That's also buff. Few. Two. So Caitlyn so far has done nothing for us, but this is not a matchup for Caitlyn, which is part of the reason why we didn't play her. Voice of the Risen is going to come out here. Now, they can equip their Dark and Spear onto the Garen, and we kind of just have to pass. We can maybe time trick. But if they pass, we also probably just pass. I actually have no idea what the right line is here. We maybe even should have opened Mystic Shot on the Fleet Feather Tracker. Huh. Now do we just pass? Do we time trick to look for something? We plant a Flash Mom? Flash Mom would have to be very lucky. To activate here. I think it's a pass angle. And then we continue to hold that Mystic Shot if they try to do some funny business. Won't do us much good against the Garen, but, well, what can we do? At that point, we probably fire it off at a 3-1 and attack with both our units. Opponent is also considering. Oh, and they went with a Ish fight. That's really bad. That is really bad. Cool. I'm going to do this in case they have a catch. Oh, they had the form up. Wow. <clears throat> It's okay, this is an experiment at the end of the day. I won't feel too bad if this doesn't go particularly well for us, but... Okay. I was gonna say, this looks okay. Suddenly it does not look so okay. Start with the... Okay, we hit a drop order and a voice of the risen. The world is not ending. is good. Might as well. I'm still dead. You can find quicksand off of this clock lane. This chrono break would be so good. So what I'm learning is that I need more quicksands in this deck. 
what are we gonna do? Do we actually want any of these? The other thing is, I don't know if this card draws when you hit skip. Let's find out. Oh, it does. Maybe they misplay. Oh look, they're misplaying. Fuck. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> shit. <laughs> there goes our hopes and dreams. Dreams well played to our opponent. Not a strong start for the deck, I'll admit. We did have a good opening hand. Maybe I should have jammed the Caitlyn. Maybe I should have just discarded the Echo Plan for a little bit, jammed the Caitlyn, played it a little bit slower. Might have worked out for us. But I figured exactly what happened was going to happen if I did that. So I needed to push the face and try to get out under them and find the pieces I needed to raise. And I found part of them, but I didn't hit any of the drop borders on my early predicts. And I didn't find good predict units in the early game. I just found Bacchus. Maybe I traded them down too aggressively. That could have been a, a potential issue with that one. A lot of things could have gone differently. This game we're against Samira Ash. So I imagine they're going to have a lot of freezes. Mystic Shot is going to be really good here again. Right of Negation? We're only playing the one, and we do have a turn one and two. Can we afford to keep both the Mystic Shot and the Right of the Negation? I don't think we can. What's our better odds of killing the Samira at the Scrying Sand? Probably. Do I want to combo these? Not really. So I should keep the Mystic Shot. Oh, but I think I have to keep the Right of Negation. Because I don't have another answer to a Reckoning. That's the card. Nice, we hit Ancient Prep turn one. Feels good, man. Caitlyn or Secret Keeper? Kind of like the Secret Keeper. Let's just, just kind of play. We can go one, two, three. Feels good, man. this. Do I want the Peddler? It's good on turn four with the... But I should probably just take a Bakai, right? Bank some mana. Peddler's not going to do a whole lot in this matchup either, I don't think. But maybe. I play it next turn instead. My turn four, I play Secret Keeper. I have mana for Mystic Shot or... I think I'm going to go with the Bakai. Apologies, opponent. I'm contemplating. And I like our open here. I don't want them to fell through. A 3-3, three, three, which I think is still probably the most likely unit to come down. Oh. Shit. I don't know which one of those is more worth the Mystic Shot. Probably that on the spot. Not going to cap. Let's see if we can find another Mystic Shot now, because that would be really nice. I'm down to take the Peddler this time. I can go Peddler, Scrying Sands next turn. And then hopefully find an Echo. I love this interaction. I think it's really cool. I'm still going to go ahead and use the Scrying Sands. How do I feel about Tide Trick? Well, I have five mana.
face. We did it. We found the echo. All right, part one accomplished. Feather feels pretty good here. Put two bombs in the deck. Is just a blocker that I have around. It's like no better or worse than a drop order. Well, it's better than a drop order, I guess. But we did have to pay for it, so that kind of sucks. Also, that kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? Now if they go for a reckoning. Hmm. 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 I think it's drop a secret keeper. This seems okay. I think I should have probably gone for the desert. <clears throat> nope. I was right. I'm going to open with the Desert Duel to draw out any remaining freezes that they might have. I'm kind of okay with that. No, I'm not. But they've gone for a freeze first. Because here's the thing. If they do have a freeze and I force it here, I don't have the out of a chrono break. But if I drop the right of negation and they don't have a freeze, I'm so far ahead. I think I have the Caitlyn, so I'm okay using the right here. If they have the freeze, they're not using it on the Caitlyn. And if they don't have the freeze, like I said, I'm so far ahead. So at this point, we have a time trick. We placed a whole bunch of bombs in their deck with this Peddler. This one feels pretty good. They have another Samira. They didn't use their flare. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's actually this. Because if I get an action after after they freeze my board, I can play it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to attack with the Peddler. Opponent really living life on the edge here. Also doesn't want free one damage. I really want to take the ash. I don't think it's right though.
I also should have just dropped the voice of the rhythm here. Definitely should have played the voice of the Risen. Nah, it wouldn't have made a difference. They would have filled differently. We're gonna look for the chrono break. Skip for six second time trick is better odd. There it is. I'm actually just gonna end the round. I want my board back. Well, that's a shame. That's very unfortunate. Huh. I wonder if I should block like this. better than this? Probably. No, it's not. It can't be. This has to be the best block. Oh, but I believe I'm just dead either way. for me to survive. Taking eight gear going to seven. I can't take any damage from that. I need to block. I also need more damage in hand. Better to kill the unit, I think, than jam. Probably the Caitlyn. Maybe the Echo. No, it's the Echo. I want the time trick. They really sandbagged that. Uh... Unless it came off the top, I wasn't paying enough attention, truth be told. You guys will find out. <laughs> Look, I found the ash. I found the ash. <laughs> GG. You win. They can kill me. They deserved it. They won. They they earned it. It's a big unit. Holy cow. Holy cow. Well played. Well played by opponent. Alright, this deck is maybe not what I thought it was going to be. It's a little unfortunate, but what can you do? We still have a couple more chances. Well, never mind. We're on our last chance, but that's okay. Surely we can get one win. One win. It'll happen. Oh no, it's elites again. It's elites again.
This is not going to be a good one. Okay, we determined Caitlyn was not good last time, right? We just want predicts and echo. Okay, this works actually. So one, two, three, four. That turns on. Now Caitlyn is actually. No, we would rather have the Chronomancer. If we can play the Flash Mob Peddler later, we can continue to predict. This is good, 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 good. Look, we even hit a drop order. Amazing! This is a much better start. We just had to believe. That's all it was. We just didn't believe hard enough earlier. That's that's it. Mm, you know what's better than one peddler, two peddlers? Do I really want two peddlers though? Not really. Do I want this time trick? Not really. So it's a skip angle. Let's go! This is fine with me. And now you guys get to see the absolute majesty. Yeah. I mean, it probably just stops their attack, but we picked up the right of negation, so they can't do a whole lot to us. And we can swing here. We will use the Scrying Sense to protect the Voice of the Risen. If this is their only blocks... We're pretty okay with it. We have our desert duel. Maybe I should have killed the Challenger unit, but I think I'm okay, because I have the Scrying Sense. I wonder what they're contemplating. Maybe a single combat into the... Oh, a Forma. Interesting. Okay, so Garen must be coming down. thing we picked that up. That was a little bit lucky, I'm not gonna lie. I like a Caitlyn. Seems good. Best thing we can do against this deck is retain the board. So we're just going to take the positive trades. I don't care about 4 HP. They have one unit. I have four. And I know I'm getting a Caitlyn. And I'm continuously planting flash bomb traps in his deck, which hopefully are going to pop. But they didn't. But that's okay. We will use the time trick because we have the one drops left in our deck. And I'm actually going to pick up the Mystic Shot because this... is just lethal. Every single way. GG to our opponent.
Mm. Okay. Actual DM. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I just did that. This is the way it goes. GG's. We got our win. Feels good, man. Let's see if we can keep at it. Alright, this is an interesting deck. So it's Callista Viego with the Cultist. I guess they're running the Halberd with Momentous Choice. And Strike Spells. That's interesting. I wonder if they're running the Darkened Spirit, or the, not the Darkened Spirit, the, the Callista weapon as well. As far as this hand goes, I wonder if the Peddler would be good in this matchup. I imagine it would be, but we're just going to go ahead and keep pulling the Chronomancer and the Echo. I think our deck wants to be doing standard things this game. Secret Keeper is interesting. Bok Iom 1 is nice. Great pickup off the top. I think it's going to be another Chronomancer. So that's 1, 2, 3. We'll have to pick up one more Predict. This does pinch our mana a little bit. But it should be okay. Oh, I'm down. We can trade. We can trade. I'm, I'm cool with that. I like that one. That one's hap we're happy with because of the way their deck apparently wants to play. So we found the Scrying Sense, which is great. That was the last predict we needed. So now we're going to be able to... I don't want to actually take that attack because I'm going to give them a gem if I do. Or sorry, I'm going to let them heal if I do and then that's not good for us. Here we're going to play the Chronomancer and bank one for the Scrying Sense to be able to play the Echo on the following turn. Skip angle. And I think it's actually a full block angle this time. And we're just going to slam the echo, but we will pick up this right of negation. We're actually not going to slam the echo. I lied. I lied. We're not going to slam. What if they had Hate Spike? Uh, I mean, I can't really play Spike or Hate Spike, but I can play around it if I just wait a turn. So shouldn't I just wait a turn? That makes way more sense. Hmm. What if I just open pass? What if I open attack? I'm down. Yeah, I'm cool with this. We can trade down. This is fine. I'm keeping their board clear before their champions come down. Now I can't play around the hate spike. I can if I pass, but not if I play the secret keeper. But if I don't do anything with this turn, mm, what if I just pass one more time? It's fine, right? Factually fine. Actually factually fine. Cool. Now I have Deny. And they're more likely to Vengeance, but that's fine. That's a better trade for us. It's like really okay that we didn't get the time trick. We got the Echo down safely and we knew we were drawing into this Caitlyn here. Okay. They could still have a Hate Spike. But I imagine they're going to buff themselves up here. We'll see what they do. We can pass. We don't have to do anything. If they want to pass back, then that's fine with us. If they want to tap under Hate Spike. Okay, I'm going to say that they no longer have a Hate Spike. I'm just going to assume that there's no Hate Spike. And I'm going to take this block. And I'm going to take this block. 
and I'm going to feel a little stupid at the fact that I didn't play this game with. But it's fine. Mm-hmm. Bingo. All right, this is great. Now we both have both of our quick attack champions with buff. <laughs> now both of our quick attack champions are buffed up by the voice of the risen so we can actually get a good attack and wow, that was kind of them. Awesome. I was definitely going to attack into that. Completely forgot about that card existing. Thank you opponent. I swear I did not PayPal them. I don't know who they are. I swear to God. All my life. We are still chilling here. We'll probably play the Secret Keeper this time. I might just play the Hawkeye. Yeah, I like Bakai into Secret Keeper. I don't actually want to put these into the pool before I search. Time Trick is probably the best thing we're going to find here. Oh, I was going to be so down to trade my Echo. You want to trade Echo? You can have Echo. That's not fun. But this is still completely fine. We're representing so much damage here. It's absolutely insane. They have to take some blocks up front. We have Mystic Shot to be able to deal with this Viego. And we have this Time Trick on top of the Time Trick that we're going to get from this Echo here. As well as Deny and a Mystic Shot for neutral. As of now, you are still dead, Mr. Opponent. Your three cards. I mean, sure. I don't know what healing they could have. Wild Feast is rotated. Anything else is deniable. It looks like we got there a second time. We did. Oh, that was the wrong emote. Holy. I'm toxic tonight, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Two and two. Still not out. Oh, shit. It's the run back. Let's see if we can do it this time. All right, we have one, two, three, four. I don't like our one, two, three, four. That's a nice one. This is a better three. Maybe I should have taken second echo. I honestly think in this deck, that second echo and parallel convergence becomes a win condition. And that maybe I should be looking to play towards it. That's scary. That is not okay. Please don't hit me with a 5-5 Samira now. Well, 
be 4-4, four, four, but y'all know what I mean. No, it's a 5-5 five, five fucking trapper. Cool. I don't feel like taking five. And I actually have to flip the sack on. Cool. We still found the voice. Nice. That's why we play three. I wonder if we should be playing Caitlyn's 2-drop, because an elusive 2-1 is like maybe okay, but we are in a ping meta, so. Alright, that's fine. It is a little bit sad, but it's not the end of the world. We will survive. Now, if they do any funny business, we have the Voice of the Risen, the Mystic Shot here as well. Probably play the Caitlyn here. Mm -hmm. Interesting that they didn't play their Ash before the attack. I guess it's still fine because this is like not good for me. But. Okay. I wonder if they have second Ash. Hmm. Please don't have Harsh Winds or Cosmic Hold. Amazing. Second Caitlyn is probably just better than... Hmm. No, I like the Feather. I can play it this turn. I can play it this turn. And I just want more units. I don't really care. If it only adds one. It's fine. I can also afford to take some damage at this point. And now that I have two Peddlers, I feel even better about that decision. And I can afford to trade because I have more units. Keeper. That's a huge marauder. That's really sad. I think I will do this though. I didn't think about that. I suppose I should have let the flash bombs do their work, but nice top deck. Um. I'm dumb, I shouldn't have attacked with the voice. I played too fast. Mm, maybe 
it works out. Maybe it works out. They do have a lot of flash bomb traps. This Caitlyn could pop very quickly. And now we have a deny. Uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. That's a really funny interaction that I've never considered, though. Triberian Assessor being buffed. Oh, wow. That's sad. We weren't able to get out of the gate fast enough against their slow start with the multiple weapons. They hit the ash. We drew all three Secret Keepers. Oh, my. All right, so I think what I've learned from this Gauntlet experience, because I think this is where we're going to go next. This ended pretty quickly. So we're going to talk about the deck for a little bit. To reward the viewers that stuck around and to let the viewers at the start keep them from getting in on how, how early this ended. We're going to stretch the video out a little bit this way. All right, YouTube. Unfortunately, that didn't go quite as well as we had hoped it would. There's a few changes that I would make to the deck after playing it a little bit there. I, I feel like I understand it a bit better at this point, and I want to make a couple changes. I want to go down to two Secret Keepers. I feel like I was seeing them either too often or not enough, so reducing the number of them is going to solve that problem, because that's how that works, right? I'll find them in Predicts when I need them, and otherwise I won't need to rely on them, and they won't be clogging up my late game. I never once saw the formula. I never once saw the quicksand. The desert duel was good. The mystic shots were good. I want a third. The flash bomb peddlers... I don't know. I don't know. Bright of negation was also good. I think the flash bomb peddlers and the Caitlyn is probably too gimmicky is what I, I decided. I think they're not doing quite enough, but maybe if we tried the Sting Officer instead, and we just tried to get a little bit more aggressive that way. But even then, I don't know. But what if we played both and we just cut the Secret Keeper? Two voice at this point. And then cut. Alright, we can cut one sting officer. I wonder if this would be better. Or if we're supposed to go. Even lower, like this, with a Pharaoh Prescience. Could also be another formula for a little bit more draw. Draw was a bit of a problem in the late game, but I don't think it was the biggest issue. We kind of had units throughout the stages of the game when we needed them to. We had lost the game by the point we ran out, and I don't think we were losing the game because we ran out. We lost the games because... We just failed to do what our game plan wanted to do. Which I guess does mean we ran out of cards. Um, yeah. I think the Caitlyn thing might be a little bit too cute. 
I think perhaps we just want to stick to either Jinx or the Mono Echo Secret Keeper stuff. It was a good experiment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's Gauntlet run. Uh, we expanded on it a little bit from yesterday's format by adding a deck overview at the start and a little bit of a deck review at the end. All in all, today's deck was a lot of fun to play with. It was a lot of fun to build. Unfortunately, it didn't go quite as well as I had hoped it would, but nonetheless, it was a great experience, and thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Unfortunately, Caitlyn Echo wasn't quite the bomb I had hoped it would be, but nonetheless, it was a great time piloting it in the gauntlet. If you liked today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, so that way you can stick around and come back for tomorrow. See you then.